Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to get you up to speed with uh, my progress in making my 2D RPG inside of the Unity engine. So work in progress name is now world, um, and you can see I've got new game buttons, load game buttons. It's actually a working late load game screen, so these files for the uh, save files, they're saving to a persistent file location uh, determined by Unity. Um, and we have save deletion mode so we can uh, actually delete the save files that we've already saved and in game of course to correspond with that we have a save system so new save button and once you hit it it immediately goes ahead and saves the file time stamps it we can overwrite that by clicking on it and we can also save to a new save uh, I'll probably add in some kind of confirmation so you don't accidentally overwrite your uh, old save files when you don't want to in the end. Um, but yeah, this is just for testing purposes at the moment. Um, so yeah, save deletion, we just deleted a save, created a couple new ones, that's all well and good. Beyond that, I've been working a lot on the enemy attack system. So uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get into a random encounter, another tiny script I've been working on. So what happen is after every so many units of moving around, it will um, basically put you inside of a random encounter with random enemies determined by a list. Uh, now here for some reason there's a little bug over there, but this was just the basic test enemy. I must have added an extra attack script onto it or something like that. So that's one guy, and that guy's been there for a while. But I've actually been uh, working on new attack scripts as well. So, for instance, uh, work in progress possible first boss fight over here is the Witchy Witch. Uh, probably will have a more accurate character name for that. But you can see um, not only is there lightning strikes from the freaking sky, but also a spread based attack coming from the side. And yes, those stars, uh, they have a random spread pattern, so it becomes a lot less predictable and harder to dodge. And the lightning strike currently does double damage. I'm not sure why it does that, but that's one of the things I'm actively trying to work on and figure out. Uh, when you do get a game over though, load game buttons and quit buttons will improve this screen's UI a bit. Um, these buttons don't actually work yet, but it shouldn't be too hard to get it working since the load game screen is already added to the game. Um, let's see, beyond that, I'm pretty sure anybody who's been following along uh, knows about the dialogue uh, script. So whenever you go up to an event area uh, that has a dialogue chain attached to it, it'll start playing the dialogue. Uh, reading animalies like Animal Crossing or Banjo-Kazooie or something like that and can also support multiple lines here. So that's pretty cool. And also one of the things I uh, made it do is so that those scripts can have more than just dialogue lines. So if we wanted to, we could actually have it uh, play the dialogue lines and then transition into a fight at the end of it. Uh, you can see link actions and you can add multiple links. And then the third link action I've got going over here is choice line, which is where it will play some text and then it will present the user with options. So that would be three or four dialogue choices like, yes, I want to go with you, no, I don't, or some such things which will trigger flags in the games and possibly change what happens later on. Um, that's in terms of the system going on there. And uh, speaking of the system, since there, at least to my knowledge, there really isn't a good 2D RPG um, kind of getting started package in Unity, uh, once I get this game closer to completion, I think I want to take all the scripts and make it so that other people like you guys can go out there and use it. I'll probably sell it for something because it's taking a crap load of work. I mean, well, let's just go through the scripts folder already. Um, yeah, combat scripts already, like 12 and then, yeah, kind of a lot. And it's not even there yet. So, yeah, anyway. As for the game itself, I am working on it daily pretty heavily. Uh, so when it gets closer to being more playable and I get all the bugs fleshed out, or most of them, um, I probably will be doing something like a Kickstarter for the game. Uh, though if you do want to support what I'm doing here already, I do have Patreon links down below. Um, with rewards including getting the game when it does come out. 
One more thing I should mention is that in combat, I changed how the patterns are going to work. So after so many seconds of uh, the enemy attacking, it will actually stop attacking for a little while. And that downtime period is going to be when the hearts come at the player. And the hearts are how you defeat the enemy, kind of like doing damage to it, but instead loving the enemy to death. Um, so it's a pattern of you getting attacked, dodging the attacks, and then collecting the hearts to end the fight as soon as possible before you run out of HP. Um, inside of the game, what I'm going to go with as far as RPG mechanics is that uh, you gain experience on every fight, standard RPG stuff, and then you can upgrade your attributes directly rather than leveling up. So you increase your character movement speed from like 3 to 3.2. Um, you increase the rate of hearts spawning, and remember hearts are how you damage, quote unquote, your enemy. And then other upgrades may be adding in in-combat health power-ups, which will fly at you during the downtime, where not only can you collect the hearts to damage your opponent, but you collect maybe like a green heart or something like that to restore some of your HP so you don't die. Um, but that's what I've got going on here. There's been, of course, a couple minor more scripts. Um, like, for instance, this scene control, which is using a reorderable event list. Uh, one of the scripts I actually picked up from the uh, Unity store, the only uh, third-party script I think I'm currently using. And that basically allows you to sort your events. And it also allows you to pass in objects as the argument for uh, the methods you're going to be calling from these triggering events. So that's actually pretty useful. So that's going to be it for this video. I'm really hard at work and the development process for this game. So hopefully I can get it to more of a point where we can start building out the actual game world. But for now, I've been Chris. If you do want to support this project, check out the Patreon link down below. Or if you want, you can just wait until I have a Kickstarter going. But thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you in my future Unity content.